In this module, we are going to look at some of the most common tools and techniques that you need to know if you want to raise your game and exceed your customer expectation. Let's start with the tools. This is a Boston shaker. It is made of two halves. One part is stuff and glass. The other half is metal. Now the cocktail is prepared in the glass portion. Then the metal half is fitted and secure before you shake the cocktail. Of course, not all cocktails are shaken. When you're mixing a drink that requires a stirring technique, you use a mixing glass and a bar spoon. The glass half of the Boston shaker is ideal. Each workstation in your bar should have a chopping board, so you can prepare garnishes and fresh fruit. If you put a damp cloth under the board, he will have stopped his slipping when you are chopping. Now, boards do get messy, so you need to clean them frequently during a shift and especially at the end. Measures like this are used for pouring accurate amounts of spirit. And in most countries, these are a legal requirement. But even in areas where you don't have to use measures by law, they are a useful way of controlling your stock and your profit. These are spout pourers sometimes referred to as speed pourers, and they allow you to pour spirits in a controlled fashion. You should regularly check the hair holes are clean and free from obstruction. By the end of this course, you will realize that you are going to need lots and lots of ice, so these ice buckets are going to be very useful for you. Good quality ones are insulated to keep the ice as cold as possible. They should have a great at the bottom, so the ice is kept away from the melted water. Hygiene is important when handling ice, so always use tongs or a scoop to lift the ice. Strainers are used for removing ice. This is called a whole foam strainer. When you have prepared a drink, you place it over the glass and the liquid is poured through it. When you're preparing drinks that need to be strained twice, like classic martinis or Manhattans, you use a fine strainer like this, after the whole tone strainer, to remove even the smallest particles of ice or pulp. Finally, knives. Sharp, straight edge knives are better than serrated ones, because serration can tear the fruit. You'll need a small knife for slicing, taking the ends of the citrus fruits and dealing with softer fruits, and a large knife to deal with larger fruits, such as pineapples and grapefruits. Now, sharp knives cause fewer accidents than blunt ones, but you always need to store your knife safely. Don't leave them on the bar top. Tools like this are crucial to your working day, so you need to make sure that all your bar equipment is of good quality and you keep it clean and in perfect working order. Now that we've looked at the tools, we will move on to some of the techniques to use them. 